Well, I can't complain that I do not like the fact that she's still being so outplayed this entire arc. First it was Shin character wasted, now it was Karyutem. In the end, it seems that the only reason she is being outplayed most of the time, although, we, although practically this time, is because she, she follows a certain strategy rule. Meaning that if someone does not follow that rule, they can easily break her. And I think that is her weakness. Because this uh, battle against the Haitian unit and the, sorry, for a moment, and the Guyon army continues. And let me tell you, it's a um, surprise of a sort, to say. Yes, this is the Kingdom Chapter 545, and I am the angry enemy fan for the Despair Reviewer. First of all, the troops against the Haitian unit tries to hang on. However, slowly, this, slowly, almost everyone besides the rookie, uh, besides the newbies, notice that something is actually not right. Kyo, Kyokai also noticed that um, the Sao is slowly getting uh, the upper hand, and uh, it seems that they are utilized in a way that are different than tactics. However, she also noticed that the only place that it does not uh, that uh, that on, that I'm not losing is Shin, who had finally gotten a little bit used to uh, the to the uh, to the glaive, although it's still heavy, and he's also uh, the only one who seems to notice that the the, the things that are going on there is actually not uh, supposed to happen. Elsewhere, Karyo Ten, uh, no, no, yeah, Karyo Ten tries to do everything she can to predict the movements, but the movements of Yuyum, it's completely unlogical to her, and she more and more and more panics. As um, the Sao army laughs at the... laughs at the... Uh, the... at the, the... well, you know... Haitian units moments, the other general says that... Um, uh, uh, the more sense, uh, the more ta the other general of Sao says that um, Karyuten's um, talent is actually one of the reasons why she is losing this battle. Because the more talented a general is, the more they are gonna fall into Yuyun's ta tactics. Um, um, and uh, all of them had their uh, strategies drilled into them by the, their master Rinshu. However, Yuyun's strength lied from something else. And what was that? Well, that was none other than instinct. And it turns out that we are now getting back to the instinct and strategy parts of the troops. As Shin and Kyokai appear on the field, they only, they, even though they left the battlefield, they needed to inform all of this, saying that um, Shin has evolved now to a point where he actually can predict through his gut instinct that they are creating a wave that uh, they should ignore and that are slowly being devoured by a flame that is beginning to be burned. So, uh, so finally Karyo Ten realizes that it's um, an instinct general. So uh, this also shows that again, she, show, she follows a certain pattern. Even though the other general praised her performance saying that the more talented you are, the more you fall into Gyun's trap. I guess that is meant to imply that yes, Karyo Ten may have been very lame in this entire arc, but uh, that only means she is further talented when it comes to a different part of strategy. But she is not of the instinct type, she follows a certain patterns of rules. And instinct is all about, well, you know, instinct. And it appears that Gu Yun is actually a considerable uh, difficult instinct general, because he is actually, he doesn't need a reason, nor a logic in his planning. He is merely using what he feels is the best thing. So, uh, uh, and uh, the, what makes him different is that he's fully equipped with proper strategy and tactics and is using that combined with his instinct in order to win. And slowly but slowly, uh, a fire is being burned in the Sao place where they are soon gonna get the upper hand. And if that flame really begins to burn, then everything, then the Hishin unit will definitely lose. So Shin says that... Uh, he was the one who, um, uh, yeah, that uh, he was entrusted by uh, Duke Huyu for the quality of an instinct gen great general. 
the shield and also we cannot forget that Duke Huyu was the only one capable of breaking through a uh, great planned tactic through, uh, through Rikabu with instinct alone. So with that Kyokai suggests something extremely surprising for all of for all of them that the only way they're gonna do this is to keep fight is to fight fire with fire or instinct for instinct. So uh, Shin, the only instinct general of this of this well not general the instinct commander of the Hishin unit and the leader of the Hishin unit must take command of the full over the forces and fight instinct with instinct. Again, I mean, I really liked how Shin here showed some maturity. Again, I, but I also do not like the fact that Karyoten is still being, well, not that important, you know. However, I guess this showed a reason for that, seeing that um, Guyon's instinct is actually on a very high level, that it cannot be predicted through, through logic and strategy, but merely through instinct alone. And Shin, who could predict some of the movements here, now it's going to take command of the entire army. Well, that's been a while since they've taken control of the entire army, but we all know that when Shin really rouses his men, he can rouse his men. The question is, though, is he going to succeed? Well, instinct versus instinct is going to happen. So uh, whatever is uh, going on in this chapter is hyping up for big things. Other than that, uh, the most of this chapter was despair, but the ending there, mm, I'm already looking forward to more. Give me your thoughts if you have any.